flare a light off outside here. Kind of a rainy day. Yeah. Take it off. Still warm it up a bit. Check this out. Air intake temperature 350 degrees. guys it is now 215 I've been struggling to keep the thermocouple temperature over a thousand maybe 1100 it sort of levels out at I had the blower up and down I ended up finding out that it likes to run better with the top open on the gasifier and the air intake valve that's over near the ninja partially closed it seems to want to drop the flame down, the fire down, into the hearth deeper and deeper and deeper rather than keep the heat up high in the hearth. So the flame's been lit for quite some time now. Can't really see it. You can see that it, it rained out here. See some vapor coming out with it. The flame is pretty high up. It's breathing okay. I've just kind of been leaving the lid open. Let it do its thing. Every once in a while you start to hear it roar a little bit. Maybe poke at it a little with a piece of this, this all thread that I have laying here. Sounds like it's starting to uh, get a little void space down there. Just keeping it going, trying to keep the temperatures up, trying to play with this thing a little bit, learn how to, how to work it on pellets if I need to. Be back in a bit. Alright guys, I think I've played with this thing long enough with the unfiltered flare. I'm going to switch it over to the filtered flare. That valve is off. Check valve anyway. And I'll open up this guy. See, we're at about 964 degrees. Kind of gets up to a thousand. Plays around. So that's pulling a little harder on the system than what the junk blower was. I didn't have it turned up all the way, but ambient air temp is 50, but that's located inside here now. And we're looking at 2.40 p.m. Pretty deep in the vacuum there. Maybe before I shut this off, we'll flare that off. Oh. 
sure there's a lot of moisture in there. I didn't purge this line at all, so let it cook a little bit. We'll be back. All right, we've been flaring off for a while here. Still a little vapor coming out of there, but this is through the filter, so can't seem to get the uh, thermocouple temperature to go too much higher than what it's at. Usually hanging out around a thousand. So it's kind of as good as we're going to get here. So what I'm going to do first, and just to show you that I did this, you can see the frost line on that tank. I had it running on propane for a while. That valve is off. And this is my fuel line going to the Ninja right now. So the only other adjustment I have right here is this is my air intake. You can see the filter on it, and the, that's the air intake control for the wood gas. And then this is my fuel shutoff for when I want to run, run it on propane. So I'll open that, and I'm going to close this, and I'm going to open this, and I'm going to let it push the wood gas over to the Ninja. Alright, I see a little bit of smoke coming out of there. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over and shut this blower off. So we should be ready to crank. I'm not going to try to do this one-handed, so I'll bring you back as soon as I get this thing running. Hang tight. So it's about 10 after 4. I had the engine running for a while. Temperature started to drop on the thermal couple a little more than I like to see. So I'm just getting some share time with my gasifier here. Trying to learn all the quirky things. But I'll switch over to the unfiltered flare, hopefully before the, the night's out, and we'll get a shot of that. But got some work to do. I gotta get two more alternators. Be back in a bit. Starting to let it run out of fuel. It's running pretty clean. The hopper was pretty smoke free most of the run. The pellets are a bastard. 982, 
uh, thermocouple temperature. Pressures are starting to climb a little bit. And I collected a lot of moisture today. You can see the mason jar is pretty well full. And you can see the level on the sight glass here. So obviously I'll shut it down before I drain all that out, but that's mainly the reason I'm going to shut it down, just because that's going to start sucking fluid soon. So we're at 4.30 in the afternoon. Let me take one more look. <laughs> 